This is a list of my favorite Max for Life devices. Max for Life devices are the addition to Ableton Live. They're like built-in effects, but fully custom made by lots of different creators. Devices like that reach from simple effects to even complex instruments. Number one, clip gain. This is my favorite workflow Max for Life device. Each time you want to unwarp or warp the audio, you have to look for the audio clip window target and click the warp button. This has a lot of seconds to your session and having to repeat this process is pretty exhausting. Clip gain allows you to map the warp button to any key on the keyboard. I use number two as I always keep my hand close to it. Now with the press of a button you can warp or unwarp any audio clip you have clicked on. This tool also comes with gain and pitch window that you can also map to a desired key with an option to boost or reduce the gain or a pitch of the clip by a certain amount and with different warping modes that you can also set with the press of a key. Number two, bounce in place. Beep has been designed to resemble what you hear with a press of a button. Assign a desired key to one of these buttons, specify where you want the resampling to go and press the map button. In this case it will create a new track and record the master channel onto it. It's a huge time saver since you don't need to create a new track, set it to a sampling arm and record anymore. Number 3. Chord Generator Chord Generator turns the notes you're playing into chords. You can choose from all sorts of different voicings and even randomize what you will get next. If you don't know much music theory, this will quickly help you generate different chords that you might have not known existed yet. But this is not where its usability ends. Combining this effect with a scale MIDI effect from built-in Ableton's library allows you to play chords without them being out of scale. You can also keep adding different MIDI effects to create more complex combinations and generate more sophisticated ideas. Once you found something cool, add a new MIDI track, route the main one into the input of the second one and record both. This way you will get the exact melody you are hearing in a MIDI format. Number 4. Duck Body. Duck Body is an alternative to a popular LFO tool and other volume ducking plugins. This free Max for Life tool does exactly what they do. It ducks the volume when being triggered with the MIDI clip. And I must say, when it comes to effects like this, this one sounds clean and it doesn't create any clicks while ducking. Simply set the envelope to a desired shape and speed, tweak the look ahead to make sure there's no clicks and you are good to go. Number 5. Granulator 2 This probably isn't the surprise that Granulator is on the list. This instrument is a granular synthesizer that allows you to put sounds into it and play them back as grains. You can adjust the length of repetitions Spread them across the serial field Spray the playback so it begins in random places And that's where the main magic happens. This tool is great for creating pads, little melody chops, or even full chord progressions if you auto tune the sound with a plugin like Pitchmap.
So those are my favorite mics for live devices. What are yours? If you got any game changing ones, let me know. If you're looking for some quality industry standard sample and preset packs, check out oversample.us. And if you're looking for some game changing plugins, check out plugins at oversample.us. Have a great day and see you soon.